All right, so tip number one, you know in FL Studio how you have on the piano roll, how you can actually see the notes, you can actually view the notes and the keys on here of what you're clicking. You can also do that in Logic. I'm gonna show you exactly how you do that. Now let's say I had this melody here and I wanted to know, um, you know, what notes I played. I'd have to actually sit there and click and then, you know, it actually tell me where you see it up here. If you wanna know the whole, chord that you play it'll show up here now quick and way quick and easy way to see this is to actually click here where it says view note labels look at that they all show up on there now if you're having an issue where you're not even seeing the smaller ones you just have to actually zoom in a bit and you actually see it because if you notice in FL studio it's actually zoomed in you actually see one two three four five but here it's almost the same thing you just have to zoom in a bit so you can actually see it all right, and that's tip number one. All right, so with the next tip that I'm gonna show you here, it's with the step sequencer inside of Logic. Now, you know in FL Studios, how you have the uh, channel rack here, we can go ahead and program your patterns. It's pretty much the same inside of Logic. Now, what I'll do is go ahead and create a new pattern region. You notice I'm in the E major here, and it does have all my uh, keys here in the E major. As you can see, now, if you click here and you're not hearing anything when you click it in, you can go ahead and click this button here and turn it on. And you can actually hear when it's off, it's going to be blank. Now, the great thing about the uh, step sequencer here, you can actually program chords and melodies here. And in a bit, I'll show you exactly how to do that. I'm going to actually show you a couple things that you need to know first. Now, the first thing is, if you notice, it's in between E2 to E3. Now, if you hold control, I mean, I'm sorry, if you hold option and shift and go up or down inside of the step sequencer, you notice that it will change octaves for you. It will go up and down octaves, right? All right, so I'm gonna show you real quick how you can build quick and simple melodies with the step sequencer. Um, as you can see, we're already in the E major and it did uh, go ahead and put that scale out there for me. So I'm just gonna punch some notes in with the chords that I have here. Uh, let's take a listen real quick. So those are the chords. So let's get back into the step sequencer here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna play the chords and punch in a couple notes just to build a little basic melody just to show you how it actually works, okay? All right, so we just have a basic melody there. Just silence the chord so you can hear the melody by itself. Let me go ahead and play that for you. All right, real quick, easy and simple. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is actually show you how you build chords. So how I actually do that, I'll go into, I'll click this button here and I'll select templates. Then we'll go down, we know we're in E major, so we'll go ahead and select major and all the major cue, it will actually go ahead and put the scale up for me. Now to actually build chords, what I'll do is I'll start from, let's go ahead and move the octave. Oh, that's fine, we can leave it here. So we're gonna start from, uh, let's see, E3, and we're just gonna go every other one. Go ahead and hit play for you. All right, and as you can see, it's just that alone. All right, so to actually slow this down, what I'll do here is click the eye and select here. Now watch this. So that's still too fast. We'll go ahead and. All right, and you can even slow it down even further. Real quick, easy, and simple. All right, so the final part of this tip here is I'm gonna show you how you actually can use this, what we just made here, um, and turn it into MIDI. So it's real easy. All you have to do is just right click on it, convert to MIDI, and there you go. You actually have chords made here. We'll play that for you.
That's real quick, easy, and simple. And as a matter of fact, you can actually turn the chords back into a pattern. You could just right click and convert to pattern region and it will actually show you each chord section that you did here. And you can actually go in and add melodies to this. Like let's say I have these chords here. I can actually go. As you can see, you could just add melodies inside of here with your chords, which isn't something I do all the time. Um, I like to have everything clean, chords on one, melodies, and so on and so forth. And again, you can actually, you know, turn the chords back into MIDI at any time as you feel like, and it will still be the same. Now, I really hope that you enjoyed the information that I shared with you guys here in this video. Peace.